Minisan, konnichiwa, Litty desu, and today I want to talk about something I haven't really talked about before. Sorry if there is a bit of an echo, I am in a different room today, but it's only for today, so don't worry. And、um, what I want to talk about today is things that I still find difficult in Japan. Like, in what settings do I still find things difficult? やっぱり結構日本に住むのも長くなったから、ほとんど結構全部慣れてると思うけど、やっぱりまだ慣れないところがあるから、今日はちょっとそれについて話したいと思います。Alright, then, well, before we get into the video, I want to give a big thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate that. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Alright, let's get into the video. Okay, so when we talk, when I said about getting used to, I don't mean like the videos I usually make where I'm like, oh, I can't get used to this, I can't get used to that. Today, we're going to be talking more about the things that not only can I not get used to, but sometimes I feel like I don't know what to do in certain situations. So, there's a lot of situations in Japan, especially like formalities, things you should do at certain times, and it's really difficult to get your head around. So, I'm going to tell you five things that I just find difficult still, and、uh, in these situations, I generally just don't know what to do.、Uh, so, I'm going to tell you guys that. Alright, on to the first one. So, since coming to Japan, I have been to quite a lot of weddings, friends, family, all different types of weddings, and I do not know what to do at a wedding. Like, I really do not know what to do because a Japanese wedding is something, it's just completely, like, it's not that. Actually, I thought it'd be more different than it is. It's not like it's completely different to a Western wedding. It's just that、um, I don't know what to do. Like, there's so many different things you should do. Like, you should do this, you should say that, you should say this. I just don't know what to do. So, generally, I'm just really silent and I just try and follow what other people do.、Um, yeah, like it's kind of awkward for me.、Uh, I don't want it to be awkward. I don't mean for it to be awkward, but it just is. All right, on to another one. Like, what do you do at a wedding? Like, especially when you're not like really, really close to the main person, or like if you're a plus one, which I have been before, and、uh, I just don't know what to do. Like, I'm just sat there, like, okay, like, when is this going to finish? Like, no, no, no. That sounds so mean. I don't mean it in a bad way. <laughs> But, like, I mean, like, when, is it, when am I going to be able to just like, relax? Because I'm so tense and I'm always on edge because I don't know what to say if someone speaks to me. I don't know who that person is when they speak to me. And、uh, yeah, I just kind of want it to be over. I do enjoy it, but <laughs> at the same time, I just kind of want it to finish. So. Sorry about that to、um, the people whose wedding <laughs> I went to, if you're watching this. But,、uh, That's the cold hard truth. Of course, I really enjoyed going and I really liked it, but it just feels kind of awkward for me because I don't know what I should be doing. All right, on to the next one. The next one is so in Japan, on the road when you're driving and that, there's like a hierarchy. There goes like trucks and stuff, cars, motorcycles, mopeds, bicycles, and pedestrians. And basically, that's, that's kind of who would take the blame if something happens. So let's say a bicycle hits a person. The bicycle will be the one in the wrong. And just like if a motorcycle was to hit a bicycle, the motorcycle will be the one in the wrong. So basically, the person can never really be wrong because they're at the bottom of the hierarchy. So if a car hits a moped or a motorcycle or a bicycle or a person, they're basically always in the wrong. Likewise, if a motorcycle hits a moped, a bicycle or a person, they're always in the wrong, pretty much. Of course, there is like percentages depending on the situation, but the rule of thumb is the bigger vehicle you're in, the more blame you're going to have to take. And of course, pedestrians are right at the bottom, so pedestrians take the least blame. And it's something that's quite hard to get used to because I can literally just be driving down the road. Like the other day, actually, I was driving down the road and I had my friend in the passenger seat. And、uh, I was doing about 40 kilometers per hour, and that was about, and I think it was like a 50 zone, so I wasn't actually speeding at all.、Um, all of a sudden, this woman just comes running out into the road, like literally just right in front of me, just comes running out. So、um, I had to slam on the brakes, of course, and、uh, I beeped at her, and I got angry, of course. But、um, the weird part was, is she saw me, she looked, and then ran out. So,、um, Of course, I had to respond really quickly and hit on the brakes, but even my friend noticed too and said that she 100% saw me, but she just decided to run out anyway because she was going to miss her bus, which was on the other side of the road. And、uh, that's crazy. Like, I don't understand who would do that. So, that's, for me, that's something that's completely crazy. And if that was in the UK and I was to have hit her, 
I'm pretty sure she would have been the one in the wrong and not me. However, in Japan, if I hit her, I would still have to take quite a lot of blame for that. It's worrying because when you're driving, you, you tend to get quite nervous, like, because you don't really want to hit anything because, you know, you're going to take the blame pretty much if you're in a car. Of course, you should be nervous as it is, no matter where you are, and you should be careful when you're driving, but I tend to think I'm quite careful. So it just kind of adds to that, you know, it just kind of makes you um, worry a lot more. And sometimes I think that can be a bad thing because if you're focused too much on one thing, you can get tunnel vision and then not see another thing come in or not see something behind you because you're focused on a bicycle or a person or something like that. So it's not good to be worried too much about them kind of things. And when you're in a car and you've been given all the responsibility and uh, you have to take all, pretty much all the blame if you hit anything smaller than you, um, even if they're in the wrong, yeah, that kind of adds to it. All right, another thing that I really, really just don't know what to do about is when I meet Japanese family members. So like, of course, my wife is Japanese. So when I meet her family, it's difficult for me because I don't really know how to act, especially if they're older, if it's like um, parents or grandparents, that kind of thing. Like, I tend to find it quite difficult, like aunties, uncles, ev everything, even cousins, no matter what age they are. Actually, when I think of it now, I think age isn't the biggest factor. I tend to just find it difficult to talk to any of them, like any age, because uh, I don't know why, like, I have nothing against them. Like, I think they're great people, all of them. And um, and I mean it, I'm not just saying that, I really do. And um, yeah, I just don't know what to do in that kind of situation, because I don't know what to talk about. I don't know how I should speak to them.僕が気にするよね。なんか間違えたくないし、僕が興味ある so that's something really difficult because Japan does have this thing where you have to speak in a certain way to olders and to family and stuff like that. And uh, I don't want to seem disrespectful. I'm sure they don't really care if I don't speak properly, but uh, I don't want to seem disrespectful. And most of the time that leads to me just being quiet, which in itself can be disrespectful because it just seems like I'm not interested. But actually I'm really interested and I want to talk about a lot of stuff, but I just, uh, just gets to the point where for me it's just too difficult to do. Of course, I do kind of overthink things, that is a problem of mine, but um, I just, it gets to the point where I just don't know what to say, so I just decide to be quiet, and uh, that's totally my problem, I think. And like I said, it's nothing to do with the family, like families are really nice, and like I said, they probably don't really care, but I think that's more to do with me because I just think I think too much about that kind of stuff, but um, I don't know, I don't want to be wrong. And in Japanese culture, like I said, I feel like even if people don't say it, formalities and that kind of thing are really important and of course I want to get it right. On to the next one. The next one is a restaurant. Like when I go to a restaurant, especially a high-end restaurant, I don't really know what to do because if I was in the UK, I kind of know what to do. Like I'm pretty comfortable, but like in Japan, when I go to like a nicer restaurant with people, I don't know like if there's like some kind of rules like that I don't know about, like maybe I shouldn't eat first or I shouldn't put my chopsticks like this or I shouldn't leave this like that and it's just like it just makes me feel like I can't relax and um, when I go out to eat I want to relax that's the biggest thing I want to do when I go out you know if I'm going to a nice restaurant the thing you want to do most is relax and um, yeah it's hard when you don't know or when you think you're doing something wrong all the time like I'll be putting my chopsticks down like I'll try and put them down so nicely that one will fall and it's just like I don't really know if I want to be doing this, like, not in a bad way, of course, I enjoy the time, but um, it's just too much stress for me, honestly, because I'm trying to think of what to do all the time. Um, again, if there's people who are older than me, people that I've just met for the first time, um, I don't know how to act, I don't know how to um, treat them, because in Japan, of course, if they're older, there's things that you shouldn't drink first, you shouldn't do this first, you shouldn't do that. Like I said, they probably don't care. Um, <laughs> I think most of the things I'm talking about are to do with me, um, I don't think they really care that much. I probably have a bit of like leeway because I'm not Japanese, but I don't want to rely on that, you know? I don't want to be like, oh, because I'm not Japanese, I can do this. I want to do it properly, you know? I always want to do things properly, so I think 
Going out to high-end restaurants just stresses me out a bit too much in Japan and I tend to avoid it, unfortunately. Like, I'm happy to go to an izakaya. I think that's, that's, where, I'm, that's where I'm happy. Izakaya ga ichiban imo na. Yeah, but izakaya iku to nan demo shite ishi, o saki ippa nonde ishi, nanka tomnatsu toka ishi ni iku kara, sonna dare ga nongo toka soi no kini shinakte ishi, ifu ni tanoshi ishite, relax sari dake. Like, sori ga boku ga ichiban suki. And for me, it's just a way with the least stress. This is a video about stress, and I'm joking. I don't want to stress you guys out. I feel like I'm pushing my stress through the camera to you guys, but I don't mean to do that. I'm sorry about that. But <laughs> I just wanted to tell you about these things, all right? So getting on to the last one. And the last one is, I don't know how to treat older people in Japan. Because in the UK, like, I always try to help older people. Like, if I see an older person carrying a bag, like a really heavy bag, I will offer to carry it for them. But I feel like if I do that in Japan, they're going to be like, oh, What's this guy doing? Like, is, he, is he trying to take my bag or something? I don't, I don't want him getting the wrong idea, you know? So um, I tend to not do things like that anymore. And I love doing things like that, you know? If I ever see someone carrying something really heavy, I love to help out. Um, whether it's a lady or it's somebody older and you just want to help them out because they look like they're struggling, I like to do that. I like to help out like that. And um, it's something I always did in the UK for my neighbors, for everyone. And since coming to Japan, I don't think I've done it at all really because I just worry that people are going to get the wrong end of the stick and um, think I'm you know, trying to do something wrong. Because honestly, in Japan, there is this kind of thing where when you're outside, you genuinely keep your space from each other. And I'm actually a fan of that. Don't get me wrong, I like that. So I don't want to invade somebody's space, you know? I don't want to invade their space to help them. And of course, because my Japanese isn't perfect, I don't know how I would even say to them, like, oh, do you want me to take your bag? Uh, would it sound nicely? Like, of course, I can say it nicely in English. If it's in Japanese, I'd probably say something like, oh, I'll take your bag. And then they're going to be like, no, <laughs> don't take my bag. So I don't want to get, you know, caught up in that kind of thing. And another thing is, I'll tell you an experience I had one time. One time I was uh, out with some family in Japan and uh, we bumped into an older guy. And he was a, you know, person that the family knew. And uh, he started speaking to me. And I think he offered me a beer. And I was like, yeah, I'll have one. And then he was like, don't say it like that. You've got to say it politely. And I was like, I don't know how to say it politely. And then um, for me, it's just like, and I didn't really know how to respond in that situation. I don't want to be rude, especially because it's someone who's a friend of the family. Like I would, wouldn't want to be rude to them. And um, if it was in the UK, of course, I probably would make that mistake in the first place. But if somebody says something to me, so で、日本語だったら綺麗に話せないから、間違えて普通に敬語全然使えなくて、その人が結構おじいちゃんで、あの、もちろん敬語使ってほしい。何の分かるから、逆に普通に何も言えなくなった。普通に話すのがめんどく
I like all the people in Japan. I just feel like I want to respect them more and I want to talk in a better way, but I just don't know how to do it. So I generally just avoid it. And again, that also makes me seem like I don't want to talk to them, which isn't the case. So that's another thing I find really difficult to get used to here. All right then guys, so I'm going to leave it there for today. Sorry I spoke so much English. Um, I really wanted to tell you guys about this and I kind of sidetracked and just got lost. So, so the whole video was pretty much English. I did try to put some Japanese in there. Um, of course, I like to speak Japanese as much as I can, but and when I'm speaking about something like this, like just speaking from my head completely, it tends to be English, so I'm sorry about that. I think I can speak Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, as always, leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, sorry about the echo, it was a bit much. Uh, I do apologize. Uh, I'm only in this setup for today, so don't worry, we're back to the old setup pretty soon. Alright then, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye, Matane.